All right, everybody, it's Saturday, about 9.30 in the morning. Beautiful weekend. I'm gonna go into Arches National Park. Temperature is 60 degrees. And looks like everybody had the same idea we had. So, we know it was gonna be busy on a Saturday. But we're just gonna come up here today, go through it, take our time, kinda do some recon of where to go once we get in the park and see the arches, where there's gonna be some good advantages. So if we wanna come up here first thing in the morning uh, for like a sunrise deal or something, Kim and I know where to go, or a sunset one, we'll know where to stand or sit. And we'll probably do that maybe on a, maybe a Monday or Tuesday when there's not so many people up here. So, but uh, this will be another place that we can do the America the Beautiful pass, get in free. But uh, we get up here a little bit farther, we'll uh, get some more video. Just wanted to show you that when you come on Saturdays, if you when you plan your trip, you may want to think about coming during the week and not on the weekends because everybody else may have the same idea. So, check back with you in a minute. Alright, we just uh, have a great tip for you here coming into Arches National Park. If you have America the Beautiful Pass, you can bypass the long lines of people having to pay cash to get in. And they have a bypass with some rangers there will allow you to go around all that line. So what would have been a little bit of an ordeal is now easy in. Very cool. The visitor center is right after you come in the main gate. You can see it from the highway as you're going up and down Highway 191. This uh, Arches National Park is west of Moab off of Highway 191, probably what, maybe four or five miles west of Moab. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, we saw some bigger buses down at the bottom. I don't know what they left up there. There was a Class C. So uh, we're going to head to the top. And it would have been $25 to get in here. All right, so now we have invested. $80 in America the Beautiful Pass, and we've used it twice at $25 each, so that comes up to Bueller. $50. Bucks. Bueller. You have an answer, Bueller? $50. $50. So, you use We're it still one out. more time. We're still out $30 right $30. now. $30. But you're allowed four people on there, so if we'd had more people with us, we actually would have already made our money. Right. $25 up to a car of four. Huh? It is. I, I'm wrong on that. You're right. I, I take that back. Uh, edit that. I'll we'll talk to the executive producer about cutting that. But anyway, we're going to get to the top. I want to show you the drive up here so when you do uh, get here, you'll know exactly what to do. There won't be any stress of how to get in. Probably this bus is going to be some good views. A little cold, a little windy today, but we don't care. This is RV Adventure TV. Where not sleet, snow, hail, or high gas prices will stop us from our adventure. <laughs> you missed a thing on here that says like plan your visit, driving. If you have an hour and a half, you can do two of these drives, like the window section, the double arch, Delicate Arch Viewpoint, Wolf Ranch. If you have three hours, you can go to some other ones. Four and a half, you can go to some other ones. You can't decide. You get the schedule and stay another day. We got a full tank of gas, so we can go. Miss Princess P, she is back at Maddie, guarding Maddie for us today. <laughs> the weather's cool enough that we weren't worried about leaving her in there with no AC, so thought we'd take advantage of that today. The uh, 
trip that we were on to Canyon Land didn't allow pets on the trail. So we assumed that they wouldn't allow them down here either. But she's not going to be happy when we get home. Nope. At all. Courthouse Tower be going. stop at this first one get our bearings take some pictures be right back Double arches. Double arches. We Beautiful. stopped the madness, started the adventure. Nice little hike up here. Probably Perfect only weather. maybe half a mile. Easy walk, anybody could do it. Wheelchairs. Uh, you'd be fine. time we appreciate it and everybody subscribing watching our channel getting Kim in a higher tax bracket <laughs> I'm gonna need one after this trip <laughs> but we're having a great time beautiful up here it is beautiful beautiful day and you can see the trail behind us but anyway let's see if we can get a little Right, there's double arches in the background parking down there and you come up here you hit uh, north and south arches or windows here you go up these steps not bad I'm doing it I'm barely doing it no wheelchair though so you're limited on this one for access oh, we'll skip Joe you could do the other one down there at double arches because you could do a wheelchair down there this one you can't Nice. Looks like we got rain moving in over there. All right, so we're up here at the top at North Windows, South Windows, and Turret Arch. So there's Turret Arch. There's the sign. Parking lots down below. And this one is South Window. So we gotta go up the trail and see what's around the corner. Alright, here we go. We're on the road. We took the first right off the main road coming in. We came in about 5-10 um, miles. As you can see on the left, I think we're headed to Windows. There's the uh, opening right there to the left. Probably hard to see on the GoPro. There's also a campground down here too we want to go check out and see what's happening.
elevation 5,000 feet here in uh, Arches. Arches National Park. If you're curious. Right around the corner, we should see some. There's an orange. There's another orange. Yeah. Very cool. We're getting close. We're warming up. Keep to the right. Well, we have to park over there. What does this one say? This says the windows. Okay. All right. So we are at the windows. There's plenty of places to park down here. There are restrooms available, hiking, first aid station maybe. There's, a, there's one on the right, one right straight in front of us. Another one, two or three back to the left. Parking only designated parking space is strictly enforced. So all you rule breakers out there, tighten up. This is cool. All right, you definitely got uh, buses up here, but those are just... Um, tour. tour buses, so. There's somebody living right there. Yeah, probably a handicap. Yeah. Yep. And always remember if you are watching this video and are in a car, there are areas that are designated for. Um, <laughs> RVs only so please don't park in areas that's designated for RVs so when the RVs get up there they have no place to park like us we have no place to park mm -hmm. let's see how good a driver Daryl is take, yeah, out a, take out a tour bus Additional parking straight ahead, it says. That's what you got to deal with it nowadays. Everybody wants to go to the national parks, which is fantastic. Oh, yeah, and then we can just walk through here. Yeah. If there's some here. <laughs> Let's see if we can find one down. Yeah, I see some down by the side. All right, so we're going to get out and walk around. But anyway, we're at Windows. We're going to take it out, check it out. 